Welcome back. This is Dan Habe with CF Ninja Hacks, and today Austin Dixon was in Jamie Smith's CF Pro Tools group looking to see uh, what he was doing wrong. He was having some troubles getting a UTM content sent from ClickFunnels through Zapier over to a Google Sheet. So I decided I'd jump on this and see if I could get it figured out. So the first thing we have to do is you want to come into your campaign URL builder. And first I'm going to show you a quick walkthrough on this and then I'll show you how to set everything up. So we're going to come into our campaign URL builder and you put in the link to the page you want them to go to. So the, uh, the website we want to go to and in this case here I have this ClickFunnels funnel and so in order to get the URL we're just going to click on, you can click on here or you can open the page completely and see where it ultimately renders out to which is really the best thing you should do and then just copy this link right here so I copied that out put that in here and then we have to put in any one of these that you want you don't necessarily well I guess you gotta probably put in the ones with the stars next to them but you don't have to put in the term and the content so I just put in source one when I was testing it so let's just try source two source three name no name two there we go name there we go put in all twos that's what I want to do so we got all twos put in there and you see then down here it generates this URL with all of this crazy stuff in it which basically is just saying like here it says ampersand UTM medium equals medium two which is what I typed in there so now let's just go here copy that URL we will go we will open that page up And in here, I'm just simply asking for a name, an email, and then somebody's shirt size, because I was using this for something else earlier. And let's see here, it's 9-28, September 28th, and it is now 1447 is the time. And let's just say we need to put in a 2XL t-shirt, and we will click to sign up. And it'll just take us then to the next page in the funnel. And then we can come back into our ClickFunnels account. We can come up, we can click on our contacts, and we can see now that that new contact will have been created. So right here, 1647, we'll click on Edit. And we'll scroll down to the bottom. And what I find is that first, the additional information doesn't show up. It usually takes like maybe 30 seconds to get in there. So just let the page finish loading. We will reload the page again. See if it's in here. Now we got all of our twos in here and we can go to our Google Sheet. I have this named Zapier CFGS Demo and here you go we have all of our twos right into our Google Sheet. So in order to get this set up the very first thing you have to do is you have to set each one of these columns for the items that you want put in here. So in our case we wanted to put in the name, the email address, and the shirt size. That's what came in off of the form and then we have these other five parameters set right here which again that came out of our our uh, what they call say campaign URL builder that's where that came from so let's go into ClickFunnels real quickly and see what we need to do in here we will back out of this and go into the page itself click on the page and into the editor so here it couldn't be any simpler we have basically four different elements. We have an input element here set to name, we have a second input element set to email, and then we have a third input element which I will open up because we have this one set to custom type, and then I say here the custom type is shirt size, and all this is is the placeholder test. So this just shows here, but it's nothing you can click on. Somebody actually has to type in what is the size of their shirt. We're saying it is required. And then the only other thing you have here is a button that is set to submit on submit the form at the end. When it submits the form, it will save all of the data, including the UTM data, and then it'll go to the next page in the funnel. So we have our zap, we have our sheet all set up with our columns, we have our funnel page all set up. Now we need to go into Zapier. And I'm going to use the existing Zap I have. And of course, if you don't have a Google account, if you don't have a Zap in your account, you got to get these things set up. But so I'm using this one right here. Um, if I wasn't using one, I would come up here and I would say we want to make a Zap. And when we go to, oops, I got the wrong one there. Let me back out of here. Let 
Right here, I never gave it a name. So let's just say here, we got our CF to Google Sheet demo. We'll name that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tell it, the first thing we want to do is we want to use ClickFunnels as our trigger. And so we're going to come down here, we're going to choose an event. So within ClickFunnels, we are going to choose a new activity. So whenever a new, whenever a new uh, database contact is made, whenever somebody new opts in, we want to create this event. And then we're going to choose our ClickFunnels account. So again, you're going to have to integrate with your ClickFunnels account. And so you may have to log into your ClickFunnels account and do all that to get that set up. Then we want to customize this contact and we want to say, let's go to this funnel. So you can click on this and it will, uh, you can lo click on loading here. It'll pull up all of your different funnels. Then you tell it which funnel you want to use and then which funnel page you want to use. So that would correspond with, let's back out of this. Let's leave that. So that is the name of the funnel and the name of the funnel step right there is what we're looking for here. You can refresh the fields to get new data if you need to. And then we're gonna go here and find data. And it will pull up all the data in this account. And we can scroll down and you can see here, in this case here, none of that UTM was in this one. So we can change which contact we're looking at. And we can load up more if need be. And so we just created one of these contacts right here. So let's go contact F. So we got our 1647, so we know this is the one we just created. And then we can scroll down, and I think in this case here, it's all right down here at the bottom it is. So you got source two, medium two, name two. So we know that this is the right account. So we want to click continue on this one because we want to make sure that the data we just put in there is there so that we're able to find it when we go to the next step. We don't want to go to a contact that didn't have that UTM data in it. And of course, there's plenty of them in my database that don't. So now the next thing we're gonna do is we gotta tell it we want it to do a Google Sheet. So we're gonna again, choose the app and the event. So we're gonna use a Google Sheet and whenever a new row is created, so whenever the contact comes in here and there's this new row, that or that's what we want it to do. We want it to create a new row is what we want it to do. And so that's what we want. And then we're going to choose an account again. You have to hook this up with your Gmail account so that they work together. Again, you may have to log in and all that. And then we're going to customize our spreadsheet row. And so up here you can choose, it says the drive. Uh, I guess in this case here it wasn't even set, but we can pick my Google Drive is what I, I have right there. Then, again, we're going to grab a hold of that spreadsheet. This is the name of the spreadsheet. We, of course, can open this up and it will find them, but you're going to find the name of your spreadsheet right there and also show up in the title up here in the tab. So we're going to pick that one, and I only have one sheet in here, and that sheet is called Sheet 1. So, again, we will tell it to grab a hold of just Sheet 1. And let's back out of there. And then what it will do is you're going to come in here and you are going to tell it how to match all of these up. So the first one we're going to click on is we will click on Dan, uh, on the name, and you're going to come down and we can click on Show All Options. And we're going to come down and we're going to find the one that says Name, and we are going to click on it. And then it will set this in here as Name. Now, of course, if you already had it in there once, it'll do it again, so just make sure you only put it in one time. Same thing here, the next one, we can click on this email, you come down, you click on your email, and you do this all the way down for everyone that populated, because these right here, every one of these will populate based upon the headers that you have in the columns on the Google Sheet. So that's why you've got to make sure you have these set up ahead of time, so that when this comes in, it grabs a hold of those headers, and it puts them all in here, and then you can match the two of them up together so that Zapier knows we got we grabbed out these seven items, eight items out of ClickFunnels, match them up with the eight items over here on the sheet, and so then everything goes together perfectly. And then when you get down here to these UTM sources, they're a little bit harder to find, and they're not all next to each other either. In, in the first example, they were all next to each other and down at the bottom. Well, here they're kind of spread out all over the place. If you scroll down here a little bit, let me scroll down on the page some. Let's see, we get down about this far and we got medium, 
and source. So it's additional info, UTM medium, and again, here's my medium to source to uh, additional info, UTM campaign, name to, and like I said, so we got five of them, and I know one of them's at least like halfway down this page here. So you got to hunt around, there's content, and so, and there's term right there. So that's all five of them, and we're two thirds of the way down the group here. So, like I said, it's a little bit of hunting around to get there. So we will click that out. And then, so we got everything set here. Then we're going to click on continue. And it says here our test was successful. And so this one here was our 1628. And we had XXXL, and we had all sources without the numbers there. Let me see if we can do a retest and review. Okay, here we go. So here we got our 1647, and we got source 22222, and we can retest and continue, or you can just continue. Now, in this case here, I already had this zap turned on. If you don't have yours turned on, there'll be a big blue button here that will say turn on your zap. There'll also be a little thing that pops up down here at the bottom that tells you to turn it on. And you may or may not also have a button up here saying it's on or off. So if you want it to work, make sure you turn it on. I was running something the other day with the zap, and I was scratching my head on why it wasn't working. is because I never turned it on. I tested it, but I never turned it on. So now we'll go back into our Zapier, and we see that it's right here. And in fact, it created, oh, it created another one because we just ran the test. So every time you run the test, it's going to grab whatever was the one you were working on, and it's going to pop it in there for that test result. And so now what we can do is just one more time, let's just come in here real quick, and we will test this out again. We will copy that URL, drop it in, hit enter, and we are now at 1658, and let's just say we need a small this time. I'm certainly not going to be wearing that, but we'll say we need a small. And now uh, we go back into ClickFunnels. We go to our contacts. And we got 1658. Click on Edit. And again, no data yet, so let's just wait for the page to finish loading. We will reload that data. And let's just see here to Zapier. See, Zapier already picked everything up. So Zapier already put it in. We got all of our threes across the board, 1658. And now, let's see here. I thought I reloaded that page. Let's just make sure it's in here. It's got to be in here because that's where, that's where the, it came from, was in here. So we got all of our UTM parameters right there and our size, and they're all showing perfectly right over here on our Google Sheet. And from your Google Sheet now here, of course, you can zap this out to anywhere else that you want, another autoresponder or whatever. So just make sure you set up the headings in these columns first, and then once you map everything together inside of Zapier, you say, okay, UTM content from ClickFunnels has to go to UTM content on the sheet. Once you map those together, everything should work out just fine. So if you have any questions, just feel free to reach out. Have a great day.